Today, everything is becoming mobile. We live in a world that people are constantly on the go and are running their chores everywhere. But there's one office tool that is still stuck behind that hasn't changed in the past decade and isn't mobile. We're talking about the printer. We looked at printers today and we saw big bulky boxes with a printed inside moving from left to right. And then we thought, why not just take the printed out and put it on a robot? When we first started thinking about creating the printer, the most important thing for us was that it should be small. We knew we had to utilize every single inch. We wanted a pocket-sized printer that can print on any size of paper, precise images. We want people can take it everywhere and use it uh, not only in the office or at home. The printer's cover is made of polycarbonate with a glossy finish. We have two options. One is in Mars black, and the other is titanium white. I started working on the mechanical configuration, how it will look inside and how to configure the motors so it will be as small as possible and as accurate as possible. We had to keep it small. Everything was designed prior to building on a computer. We have an uh, initial uh, mechanical prototype. We have our initial code. It's about 10 by 10 by 8 centimeters. Our initial prototype is aimed for grayscale images and text. The prototype aims for printing a page on under a minute. We are using a special uh, Bluetooth protocol which allows us to be able to print from any device. That means that no drivers will be needed. It will print on a regular A4 paper. If you have multiple pages, it will hold and uh, it will tell you to change a page. The light phone. Your phone away from phone. Designed to be used as little as possible. It's the size of a credit card and it only makes phone calls. Works with your existing phone, allowing you to comfortably disconnect. You can go out with the light phone free of distractions and you'll never miss a call from mom. We look at everything everyone else is building. It's fighting for more of our attention and more of our time. The light phone is thoughtfully simple designed to be used as little as possible. We are using the same technology we used 10 years ago to build phone. But for the light phone, we strip away everything but the phone itself. The only essential connection that we think people need. We have gone through three rounds of prototypes with our very limited resources. We have proved that we can achieve what we have designed and have been engaged with our manufacturing partners. We are still evaluating different materials and finishes. We will need to fabricate the proper tools, go through four production cycles, and build a light app. We're going to be as transparent as we possibly can. I wanted a good keyboard, and there weren't any out there. I figured, well, how hard could this be? And then we built the best keyboard we possibly could. It's not what you'd expect from a keyboard, but people love it. Creating a keyboard is kind of a weird thing. It's been an obsession. Hi, I'm Jesse Vincent. I'm co-founder and CTO of Keyboardio. I'm Kaya Decker. I'm the CEO of Keyboardio. I'm also married to Jesse. Most people are typing eight plus hours a day on uncomfortable, flat, plastic boxes that are pretty much the same as they were a hundred years ago. You deserve something better. And a musician's not like, well, I'll just take the plastic guitar off the shelf and it'll be fine when I'm staking my entire career and my, you know, my professional everything on this. Like, they're really thinking about it. I found a bunch of research about better keyboard layouts, how your hands work, and what actually matters in keyboard design. And every keyboard design in the last 20 years has flat out ignored it. So we built a good keyboard. The Model 1 is different. It takes some getting used to, but it's worth it. The Model 1 is that great sort of tool that supports the way you want to work and then gets out of the way and lets you do the kind of work that you couldn't have done without it. And I love the way my fingertips kind of rest in the keys and how easy the keys are to reach. We're trying to build a keyboard you'll enjoy using for years. 
We have this gorgeous maple wood enclosure. We've sculpted the keycaps to guide your fingers to the right keys. And yeah, it lights up. The LEDs that glow from under each key are actually totally customizable and programmable. Originally, the butterfly shape was an accident, but we love it. It feels warm. It feels friendly. I just got the TouchJet Wave. It turned my TV into a smart touch screen that can do pretty much anything. Bam! Stream any movie. You can download any app from the Google Play right onto the Wave. You can check sports, news, social media, listen to music, search for things, learn stuff, control your home, and play all your favorite games, only much bigger and better. We are going to take a look at the Spectre project next. Which People in our office love it. It gets them out of their chairs, collaborating like never before. Windows to the south side of the Wave also has a mobile app. It's a great idea. Amy, can we pull up the window tree? You can swipe files, photos, and videos from your handheld device right to the TV and no need to sweat compatibility issues. Any Android or Apple device will do. It's super easy to use and gets kids playing together in a whole new way. I think it's Uncle Andy's turn. <laughs> I think your parents want you to play something a little more educational anyway. Navigate right from your phone. You'll be amazed at how quickly it changes your world. Friends, office, family, the touch jet wave brings people together in any situation. The Vega Edge is a wearable light designed to blend seamlessly with your wardrobe. Hi, my name is Angela Mackey. I'm a designer based in Gothenburg, Sweden. I've been working for the past two years collaboratively with the Social Body Lab in Toronto on a wearable light. Kickstarter is our way of getting them out to the world. We were really interested in the prospect of making lights that were beautiful and wearable and able to be worn outside of kind of like a sporting or athletic context. We've designed something that when it's not being used as a light, still looks good as its own fashion object in the day when it's off. The strength of the magnets allow it to be clipped to the edge of any piece of clothing, so people can get quite inventive in terms of how they put it on their bodies, or their bags, or anything else that they'd like to clip it to. We want to see what it's like when people actually take these objects into the fashion context. You know, what does it mean to wear light in a way that is aesthetically pleasing? Vega Edge was created over nine months of physical prototyping. We crafted the light out of leather, which we cut with a laser cutter. It's then sewn together. Uh, it's kind of a one-piece construction that will fold in onto itself. The circuit board is inserted. We sew on the reflective material and uh, magnets are attached. All around the world, people think they're enjoying the taste of fresh coffee. But is it really fresh? Between your cup and the coffee farmer, there are in fact 17 steps. Firstly, the beans are picked by the farmer. Then they make their way to the farmer cooperative the Governmental Coffee Institute, the Coffee Shipment Company, the Fair Trade Label, Coffee Exchange, Coffee Commodity Trader, Coffee Commodity Hedger, Coffee Trader, into domestic coffee storage. It's then sent to the Coffee Label, Coffee Roastery, Coffee Packaging Company, Central Distributor, Retailer, Coffee Shop. And it's finally served up to the consumer six months later, fresh. The time taken for this process not only gives the beans a bitter taste, but also creates needless and damaging waste. And it's not just the environment that suffers. Farmers often make very little profit, 
as the majority of the income ends up with the distributors and the export-import companies. Understanding the inefficiency and unfairness of the coffee value chain inspired us to come up with a real game changer. Revolutionizing the coffee industry, bridging the gap between the farmer and you, we build a machine that can not only grind and brew the coffee, but that can also roast the coffee, all at a single push of a button. With this machine, you won't need to buy month-old pre-roasted coffee beans anymore. You can buy the green, raw coffee beans directly from the farmer, beans that have just been picked and dried. It's so fresh that we're actually running for the Guinness World Record for the fastest coffee from coffee farmer to coffee drinker. We built not one, but 135 working prototypes and had over 15,000 people tasting our coffee. Their feedback gave us the confidence we needed to continue. After two years of burning beans, we found the ideal temperature to time relation and finally perfected the art of roasting in this monitor. We use a rotary system within a high alloy stainless steel container, a water filter to make even the dirtiest water turn into fresh coffee, and an airwind system that absorbs the smoke and only unleashes the scent of freshly roasted coffee. The roasting process now takes three to four minutes due to the small amount of green beans and therefore your morning coffee will be ready once you get out of the shop. Say hello to WAVE, the world's most affordable and versatile electric bike. With its powerful 48-volt hub motor, your WAVE e-bike speeds you up to 28 miles per hour effortlessly. With a 750-watt powerful motor, you'll be riding up hills without ever having to pedal again. Unless, of course, you want to pedal. And with an extra-large battery, you'll be able to ride for over 26 miles without ever having to pedal, which means you can go even farther if you decide to pedal. The Wave e-bike is perfect for the everyday commuter, beach rider, and any scenario imaginable. Designed for comfort, built for performance, and sold more affordably than anything else in its class. We present to you the Wave e-bike.